So the web isn't really the web unless you can link. Linking is inherent to what hyper makes hypertext hypertext. It's the ability to go from one text to another. So uh, let's go ahead and um, uh, add in uh, uh, saying what people are saying about the Galapagos tortoise. Now, if I wanted to make this part, say, um, emphasized or strong, I'd know how to do that. Or if I wanted to make it into a list item, although that would be strange given where it is. How do I make it into a, a link? I use the A tag. There's the beginning of the A tag. And here's the end of the A tag. That makes this into a link, but a link to where? Um, right now, it's a link to nowhere. It probably won't display at all as a link. But if we make it, if we add in an attribute called href, that is the hyperlink reference, and put some quotes there, we can put a link there that it'll link to. What link? Let's go ahead and just link to, um, to uh, Wikipedia for now. Okay, if I save this, file save, and then I go back to our page and reload it, you'll see that we now have a link right there, and if I click on it, it'll follow through to the link. So I've created a hyperlink, that's great. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. One of the most common mistakes early, the people we make early on in creating HTML is they forget this HTTP part. The HTTP part is essential. Um, if you are linking to a site out on the web. If you're linking to a local page, you don't include the HTTP part. So if I had a page called second.html, and if that second.html was sitting here in that same folder as index.html, this would then link to that page. Um, I can save it real quick. I can go ahead and try to load it, but if you take a look, um, if I click on that, there's not actually a page there. I haven't created a, a document called second.html, but this is important because this is how you create a website, right? It's all links between various web pages, and those pages don't have anything on the front of them. No HTTP. So if, for example, I type in here www.google.com, because it doesn't have the HTTP, HTTP there, it's going to assume that Google is a document on my in, my in the same folder where it is, in the same directory. And so whenever we link to an outside site, it always has to be HTTP colon slash slash. Are there other attributes? Um, one of the things that people often ask is, how do I make it open in a new window? And I will answer that with, you can find out how to do that, and I'll, I'll tell you how in the document, but um, don't do that. Um, it's always a bad idea to surprise people by opening documents in new windows. People do it all the time on the web, but it's just bad practice. So unless there's a really, really overarchingly good reason to open up a new window, don't do that. It breaks some people's browsers. It messes with people on phones. It has there's a, far too many reasons not to do it. Um, then so just avoid it if you can. Um, other than that, it's also a good idea often to talk about the relationship of the link, and to talk about um, what the link is to provide some information about that so people know before they go. Um, but we're not going to do that for now. We'll talk about it at a later date. It's not just text that can be inside of an A tag. We can put an A tag here, and one of the reasons we might do that is because you'll recall, because of the license, we need to give credit to the person who took the picture. So we can. one of the ways we can do that is actually to link to their page on Flickr, and then anybody who follows that will know right away um, where they are and who took the picture. So if I refresh this now, and now I click on this, it takes me through to here. So images or just about anything else can be captured within that A tag. All right, have fun.